Oh, it's really cool. How? It's hot. <laughs> Are you laughing at me? Because I'd be laughing at me too. There's a pot. Okay, this one's really full. I gotta go and put these in my collection for Nespresso. my channel and as you know I am a coffee lover I have cut down from eight coffees to literally two a day now so I enjoy my coffees today is going to be a different day I'm going to test a couple of different pods of coffee because as you know I have my Lama Zocco coffee machine and I love my first coffee with that machine it is just incredible I love it I don't do it justice and I never have I'm slowly learning how to use it Next is my Nespresso Prayer Tister. This one's a brilliant coffee machine when you're really lazy and you just want to use the frother, or I use that frother, and you want just a quick coffee. And it's done with regular pods. The regular pods are, don't look at my mess, but the regular pods are these pods. These are the pods for the regular little Nespresso. And yes, I have them all in here. Now, I do have the Virtuo Plus, and I love that coffee because it's centrifugal, centrifugal, anyway, you know what I mean, I can't pronounce it, and it's phenomenal. Now, because my husband took that one upstairs to our games room where we read and chill out in the evenings, I decided to get Virtuo Next because it's different, you flip it up. Now, I have already used this machine, and I'm gonna tell you at the end of the day, at the end of this video, my thoughts on it. Now I have a lot of pods here, so I'm gonna do a couple of copies because I just want to show you that this one is a little bit different from the Virtuo Plus. So I've got the Virtuo Plus and the Virtuo Next, I think. Anyway, this one, flip the lid, although sometimes I've noticed with mine it doesn't always go down. This one you have to open it. I want to do two of the same. So I'm using the double espresso chiaro. 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 I know in Italian the H is usually silent, so correct me if I'm wrong, is this is the double espresso chiaro. Oh. That's a fuck up. I'm pretty sure Okay, and this one's 80 mil. Fingers crossed. Oh. See how that is really aerated? That is the next. This one has still, it's got a little bit of it, but it's a smoother. So let's have a taste. This is the Nespresso Virtuo. I think because it's a centrifugal, centrifugal, I don't know. It has a frothier cream, like it's a nicer cream, but it does disintegrate very quickly. So I'm gonna try this. I find this Chiaro double espresso a little bit bitter for my tasting. And if you look at this one, see how it's gone flat really quickly. And it's, it just looks like it's curdled. Is it just me? Have a look. Can you see? It looks like it's curdled. Does it look weird? This is the Virtue Next. Uh, again, I think it's actually more bitter. That's the next. And this one's the Virtuo Plus. It's so surprising <laughs> that they taste different. That one in the next tastes bitter and that one in the Virtuo Plus tastes a little bit smoother. 
the bitterness comes now afterwards. So, and if you look at them both, I'm going to show you now. They have disintegrated that crema, which is almost like a fake crema. It just disintegrated. Hang on. So that's the that's the plus, and that one is the next. And if you look at them on the side, um, with my lipstick marks, look at the difference in them. And that's that's just out of these two machines. The one that came from Next, the Virtuo Next, <clears throat> has a lot more bitterness in it. So um, I will probably have to put sugar in those. Okay, I'm gonna try something else. Let's try the Fortado. Only because I have two of these here and this one's 150 mils. So let's try it with, and see how this one goes. One. One handed uh, is not so easy. Okay. And that one. So let's try it like that. Virtuo Plus, this is the next. Virtuo Next, Virtuo Plus. It's actually very, almost cream-like. It is lighter. This is the Virtuo Next. I don't know what's going on with that machine. It's brand new. They taste like two different pods. It's like, this brings out a lot of bitterness. When it's extracting the coffee, it makes the Virtuo Next makes a lot more noise than the Virtuo Plus. And you can really see the difference here. Like that is the Plus, that's the Next. And you can really see the, the, cream, the crema on it. The bubbles are coming through, breaking through there. You can see them already breaking through. And that one is still intact, but it will break down eventually. So, so far, I wasn't wrong when my first assumption of the Virtuo Next was that the coffee's not that great out of it. So let me just try it again. It's, it's a little bit on the bitter. That's smoother. I, I don't get it. It's. Both of them in espresso machines. One's a plus, one's a next. How can they have the same pods that be so different? Okay, they're going to the side. I got the big guns out, the big ones. Okay, cause this time round, I'm gonna try a flavored one. I was only gonna do two, but I'm gonna do three. So I'm gonna try, and try the flavored, which is the hazelnut muffin. I like this coffee, whether I have it as an Americano, all black on its own or with a splash of cream, ice, and also sometimes I'll do a splash of, no, sorry, let me rephrase it. I'll do it as an oat iced coffee. This is beautiful coffee. So let's hope that this one's gonna work out. This one's behaving. Usually that gives me a hard time. That's the one thing about that one. That makes a lot of noise. And that was my elbow. Okay, I was thinking something while these ones were both going. So this one is the Virtuo Plus. And as I was gonna say, you can smell that um, hazelnut. That is a nice cup of coffee. This is the Virtuo Next. I don't know what the fuck is going on here. That is so bitter. And it's almost like 
they're two different coffee machines, which they sort of, they technically are, but they're both Nespresso. And the coffees are very bitter out of the next, and they're smooth out of the plus. It's hot. They're both actually quite temperature wise. Let me just check that. Let's have a look. I didn't do this before, so let's have a look right here. So that's a Virtuo Next. And the temperature on that gauge is just over almost 70 degrees. And this is the Virtuo Plus and it's just under. My honest review is that I sort of felt this next machine was different. I didn't like the coffee that was coming out of it. And I think it has a lot to do, I got my thermometer still in here. I think it has a lot to do with the extraction. And I think it's because if you look at the difference, look at the bubbles, the, the thickness. I mean, that crema was really thick. This one was thinner. To be honest, um, I'm not a real fan of it. That's my honest opinion. And I've always loved Nespresso. Nespresso was my thing for like 15, 16 years. I mean, as soon as, as, soon as the, the um, Nespresso pod machines came out, I had them. I had them for years and years and years. And I had them up until I moved into this house and I bought an actual traditional coffee machine. I didn't know how to use it and I donated it to the local hospital. The Virtuo Plus is fantastic because I love the big pods. I love, and you can see, look how many big pods I have. These are my pods and my husband's are upstairs with his. Now I love the, the Virtuo Plus because of that reason. I love to have my caramel cookie um, lattes, my vanilla custard. I love the flavored, but this machine, I've been having, and I think that's probably why I stopped drinking my iced coffees at night is because I found it, it just gave it a different flavor. And I, it wasn't until I just randomly today decided to do a little review on it and see honestly, why is the coffee not the same as the Virtuo Plus? And as you can see, look how quickly that has disintegrated. That is coming down. It's almost like the foam is coming down on this one. It's starting to aerate, but this one is really, it looks like instant coffee. So let's talk honestly about these two machines. There is a price difference in them. The Virtuo Next is 249 on its own. The Virtuo Plus on its own is 279. So it's a $30 difference between the machines. With the frother, this one's 329. With the frother, this is 359. So yeah, it's the $30 difference. If I was to say to you which machine for the $30 difference, definitely go for that. I don't know what the hell is wrong with that one. But I think this one's gonna get given away. And the fact that you gotta flip it, so I've gotta empty that. Oh, it's really cool. How? It's hot. <laughs> Are you laughing at me? Because I'd be laughing at me too. There's a pot. Okay, this one's really full. I gotta go and put these in my collection for Nespresso. Motherfucker. What? Motherfucker. Okay, for some reason, maybe mine's a dud. Whatever's been extracted out of that has come out really bitter. So if anybody has any suggestions as to why that's happening, I think I may pass that on to someone. Um, someone who's not as fussy <laughs> about coffee as I am. So if anybody wants it, they can have it. Yeah, the coffee is not the best. So that's my honest review, that's me. I used three different pods and one was a flavored one. And for the $30 difference, I think that one is the best buy. And I hope you enjoyed it. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel so you get notified every time I bring out a video. Oh, and ring the bell button so you do get notified when you've subscribed because you can subscribe, but if you haven't rung the bell button, you don't get notified. So make sure you ring the bell button and remember, I love you. Have an awesome week. Mwah.